Hello guys, Ivan here, and this is the Ferrari A12 Superfast, and this is the front mint engine real-wheel drive Grand Tourer produced by Italian sports car manufacturer Ferrari that made its debut at 2017 Geneva Motor Show, and the A12 Superfast is a successor to the F12 Berlinetta. This car is assembled in Maranello in Italy at the Ferrari factory, and currently this is the only V12 which Ferrari produces. So in this video I want to show you this car exterior, also interior, and we will also listen to the V12 exhaust and ref. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and turn on all notifications so you are notified for all new videos. And also give this video a like if you enjoy this review. So the design of the 812 Superfast is inspired by F12 Berlinetta but it gets some updated cues like full LED headlamps, air vents on the bonnet and circular rear tail lamps, as well as the rear diffuser which is in body color. And here you can see the spec sheet and price of this particular car. And special thanks to AR Cars for having me here today. And this red paint is called Rosso Corsa. And as you can see, this is non-metallic red color. Let me know which red is your favorite on the Ferrari because Ferrari has a more red shades which you can choose from and this car includes the mix of active and passive aerodynamics to improve drag coefficient values over the F12 Berlinetta. The front of the car is designed to increase downforce and includes intakes for the front brake cooling as well as ducts to increase underbody airflow. So the 812 Superfast has 20 inch wheels at the front and the rear. The tires are Pirelli P0 with 275, 35, 20 from the front tires and 315, 35, 20 from the rear. The brakes are carbon ceramic Brembo Extreme design. These brakes, which Ferrari claims have 5.8% improved, braking the performance from 100 km per hour to 0 km per hour or 62 miles per hour as compared to F12 Berlinetta. The brakes are borrowed from the LaFerrari with diameter of the 15.7 inches at the front and 14.2 inches at the rear. And this is the A12 super fast red key fob. And this is the new style of the key fobs before this one. You had one which you manually inserted in the car. This one is a keyless. And here you can see four exhaust pipes, two on each side and body colored diffuser here in Rosso Corsa. And we have four diffuser fins at the rear diffuser, two large ones and two smaller ones. This car doesn't have a classic fuel cap, so you just refill it without it. And you should use 980 octane or more, ideally 100 octane fuel. So the Ferrari 812 Superfast has 6.5 liter V12 engine and large version of the 6.3 liter engine used in the F12 Berlinetta. And this engine generates a power output of 800 horsepower or 588 kilowatts at 8,500 RPMs. And the torque is 715 Newton meters or 530 pound feet of torque. According to the manufacturer in 2018, the 812 Superfast engine was the most powerful naturally aspirated production engine ever made and it doesn't feature turbocharging or hybrid technology so this is pure naturally aspirated engine and the transmission for the 812 Superfast is 7-speed dual clutch automatic gearbox manufactured by Getrack for the Ferrari based on the gearbox which was used in 458 Italia and here you can see recommended lubricants for the A12 Superfast, the oil specification. So now let's check out the interior. You can see the prancing horse with red stitching in the seats and combination of many shapes and also materials. So you can see large red stripe through the seat and A12 Superfast badge on the dashboard. So now let's check out the infotainment system of the A12 Superfast. So we can turn on the ignition and check out the infotainment as well as the interior. Or I guess welcome in the Ferrari 812 super fast. So here I want to show you the interior. And you can actually move this steering wheel so you have more space. So the steering wheel is from leather and it has a carbon fiber on the top. And this is probably the shift light, I assume. 
Here you can see the airbag and horn in the middle. And carbon fiber on the bottom as well. Red engine starts the button on the steering wheel. This is for the suspension, for the uh, bumpy ride. And then you have this switch, this is called the Manettino. And you have a wet mode, sport mode, race mode, city off. And if you press here, then you have ES. Uh, ESC off. I think you need to hold it. Then car beeps to give you an alert. So with the wet mode you can see there the stats for the EDIF and four-wheel drive system. Everything is changing depending uh, which mode you have. So race mode is more aggressive and city off even more and then ESC off is completely uh, turn it off. Here on uh, the left side you can see toggle switch for the lights. And for the mirrors we have a toggle here. And here with this button you can open uh, the boot. So this I think is a cruise control. And here with this one, with this toggle you control the left, the right screen here. So you have here toggle right left to see the shortcut menu. So this is a speedometer, speedometer, yeah, this looks really cool, I, I have to say. A large ref counter in the yellow color, up to 10,000 RPMs, and the red line is at 9,000. And these pedal shifters, they are also from carbon fiber. Oh, yeah, they are on the medium size, and they are... They are not fixed to the steering wheel, so they are separate. Here you have some buttons for the lights. These are the indicators. So a lot of things you have on the steering wheel here with the Ferrari. And here if you press the home button, you can actually see the menu. And if you scroll, then you can go between the options here. So from the speedometer to radio, media, navigation, phone, and settings. We can check here the settings. So for the settings you have a display settings and you have display modes, passenger brightness, touchscreen, then with audio we have some settings for the hi-fi system, Bluetooth climate control and extra languages, navigation, you have a map here it's quite small actually, but it's usable, I would say, definitely. But I think in the GTC for Lusso you have a larger screen here, which is more uh, gives you more information. The pedals here are from the metal and red stitching here. Windshield washer fluid, I think it's controlled with this, I don't want to engage this. And here I think you have voice assistant and you can manage calls. And here you have a camera, and for the parking you can also lower the car there uh, with the button. So here in the middle you have uh, controls for the AC, uh, this is for the transmission, reverse, uh, automatic and launch control, hazard lights. Underneath you have uh, some space probably for your phone, and you have a one cup holder here, which is uh, extendable for this part. And Controls for the windows are actually in the, the middle tunnel here. This is the display for the passenger, so passenger can see your uh, RPMs, speed, in which gear you are uh, for the transmission, and overall in which gear. And I think uh, this is, uh, I'm not sure if this is touch screen. Oh yeah, this is touch screen. So you have media there, navigation, you can search for point of interest performance and you can see this is nice you can see the manettino so if I change it here on the steering wheel you should see it too as a passenger which is cool right this is pretty cool this passenger display and media is for the for the songs so yeah pretty cool display I would have to say 
it was super fast on the dashboard and these these stripe they are quite nice here nice details so overall I like this interior these seats I have to say are quite firm so these are I would say half bucket seats half like an elegant way you can see Alcantara here one stripe leather stitching I think you can have this in all kinds of colors so pretty cool design here for the seat belt and we have some nets behind the seat as well and here is small armrest you can see here some uh, space to put your bags yes this is a glove compartment you have a button here to open it we have some documentations for the car so not not uh, really huge but you can put some some stuff there certainly two zone uh, ac unit of course mirror is quite large this is good and these mirrors they are like from a i don't know really huge even yeah so you will have a great visibility with them definitely so you kind of sit like in a super sport but in like a gt gt way because the bonnet is so so long <laughs> so uh, yeah that's that's a little bit crazy so overall let me know what do you think about this uh, interior you have these nice accents also here you can customize i think this in many many ways so you can see auto start stop button and anti-tow uh, alarm and some lights So the sun visor here is actually one of the thinnest sun visors I've seen. I can show you here. It's uh, really, really thin. Like, uh, yeah, like a pouch or something. It's and it's soft. Usually, it's, it's quite firm. So overall, really interesting to check these out. Let me know how they like this. So now let's open the rear boot lid. We can find here the boot space, which is 320 liters. When you open this parcel shelf, you can see the specification of this car. So this is really good. And you can see stuff like a car cover and other bits from the manufacturer. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know what do you think about this Ferrari A12 Superfast, the V12 Grand Tourer. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.